Now, some people think veganism is just for hippies, but the food industry is struggling to cater for its rapidly growing popularity. Supermarkets are getting on board, along with fast food giants, even ice cream makers. But the meat lovers are hanging on to their T-bones. Ah, the great Aussie barbecue. Don't you love it? It's part of our culture. Family, friends, weekends. But do you know more than 2.1 million Australians no longer eat meat? And that number is growing by the day. It's great. It's really not that different to life as a non-vegan. I think our bodies were designed for the nutrients that we get from meat. This is hot work. Can somebody get me a vegan beer? Or a Cooper's Pile Ale? <laughs> this is the hot new trend, veganism. Veganism, yep. Could you be a vegan? Uh, I seriously doubt it. I feel like the problem is that so many people are trying, are putting the label on as being a vegan and it scares people away. Sounds like a Hollywood movie, doesn't it? The vegans versus the meat eaters. And in fact, just last week, Tinseltown got a real life taste of the topic. Whether we're talking about gender inequality or animal rights, we're talking about the fight against injustice. Why did you become a vegan? It was for ethical reasons. So I was a meat eater for 27 years and then I watched a documentary called Earthlings, which um, talks about how animals are treated in food, fashion, medical testing industries, and I went from meat eater to vegan overnight. That documentary was produced by Joaquin Phoenix. Make the connection, Earthlings. Tonight, back home, three perspectives on veganism. Ash, the vegan. Tammy, the vegetarian turned meat-eating butcher. And my introduction into the world of no meat, no dairy and no eggs. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And I don't mean meat as in the... Hey. <laughs> in the nicest possible way. <laughs> Paul runs a cruelty-free shop in Collingwood, Melbourne. Everything is vegan. And how's this? Worldwide, vegan produce is the new cash cow. In five years, the global vegan food market will be worth $24 billion. OK, Paul, start me off on my vegan journey. Bacon rashes. You can have bacon, eggs, salami, meatballs, even a roast. And there's not an animal in sight. Tammy, you've gone from a vegetarian yep. to a butcher. Not just a butcher, but a meat-eating butcher. Why? Well, because I was vegetarian because I didn't like how animals were treated in industrial agriculture, so I figured I had to grow them and butcher them myself. Here on Tamik's property, there's plenty of animals. On the chopping block, wrapped in plastic for sale, and on the trotter in the paddocks. Not a vegan's paradise. <laughs> vegans like animals. Yeah, not dead ones. <laughs> But they should want animals to be raised like this for those of us who are eating them. <laughs> there is a lot of good evidence to suggest that we need to all be eating more plants. Nicole Dynan is a dietitian. She thinks we should eat less meat, but there is a caveat. We know that meat does contain a lot of amazing nutrients like protein and uh, zinc and iron and omega-3s and B vitamins. So if we just cut that out and we don't plan um, how to get those nutrients from other foods in our new diet, then we could leave ourselves short. Well, for breakfast, for the kids and I, we had some chia seeds with some plant milk and also a smoothie. You treat the animals kindly and ethically yep. until you kill them. Yes. We don't think it's immoral to eat animals. It's basically this concept that animals are not ours to use. Emily Rice from PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Veganism, she says, is so much more than diet. And then beyond that moves into the fashion sphere, so we're talking about wool and leather, of course, fur. It's an ethical philosophy, a moral stance around animals' rights. And the more extreme vegans take their passion and their politics to our streets. What do we want? What do we want? and to our farms. Animal liberation now! I've had death threats from vegans, so that bores me. Uh, after alarming me initially, now it just bores me. A lot of my vegan friends get death threats. From and, who? Uh, from farmers, from meat eaters. I think it's on both sides, it's pretty horrific. Why do you eat meat? Because it's good for you. If yeah. I can live a life without, without me causing pain to any living being, then I will choose to live that life. So you are a? Ethical omnivore. 
you're an ethical omnivore. Which means Tammy eats meat, which she says she farms ethically. Ethical farming's an oxymoron. Um, there isn't really any way to kill a, someone who doesn't want to die. I'm a vegetarian, basically, but I do have some meat. What does that make me? Well, I guess that's a flexitarian, which is just wishy-washy as all hell. <laughs> I'm a flexitarian. <laughs> cheese, blue vein cheese. Yeah, I love that. blue vein cheese. Right. The weirdest item here, plant-based vegan roast. This young lady calls herself a local vor, eating only locally produced food. So a lot of the vegan food I'm finding now is just really over-processed and over-packaged and it in involves a lot of imported food, so there's a lot of food miles involved in, or food kilometres involved in it as well, so it's never just a simple black and white issue. New day, new diet. Oh dear. Actually, it's not bad. Fake roast beef. I think veganism is the future. I do have a beef with that, no. It's not for me, not this sort of food, but vegan diet may be a different thing. It's tasteless, but pretty good. Look, I had a crack, okay? You don't need this. Just go without your bacon and eggs and go without the cheeses and whatever. Yeah, be nice to your animals. We're running a Facebook poll to see if you'd consider trying a vegan or vegetarian diet this year. 41% of you say you will, while 59% won't. There is still time to cast your vote on our Facebook page.